Skibbity Toilet Ohio Wrestler and all that, am I right, fellow? Fellow, fellow young people? <laughs> am I right, fellow young people? Am I, am I raising you up yet? <laughs> okay. Morning, welcome back, my little okay. Rizzlers. Looking very Sigma today. Yeah. Okay, that probably won't be a regular thing, but can't promise anything. As you can tell from that scary introduction, I'm always you, you on gotta, the for- You gotta- you gotta appeal to those Gen Alphas though, you know? Like, Gen Alphas are- in a couple years, Gen Alphas are going to be, like, older, and you gotta be able to appeal to those people, you know? You know? You know? ...knowledge so I can keep up with what's going on in the world. And after finishing my 90 slang to Gen Alpha slang worksheet, I wanted to use new word- I and after Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Chillax! No! Chillax is majestic! Fly ate that! You go, girl! Bet! Fresh! Fire! Game! Bruh! No diggity! Riz! Huh. A lot of things make sense now. A lot of things make sense now, chat. Wow! finishing my 90 slang to gen alpha slang worksheet, I wanted to use new word I learned in real life. Maybe the brain rot was there all along. We've just repackaged it for modern times with a side of Coco Melon videos. Who knows, maybe in the future the cringiness of- so, Definitely! Partially, there's always been brain rot. There has always been brain rot. 100% there's always been brain rot. It just feels a little bit worse now. Like now it's like even worse. It's- it's just getting worse and worse, you know? Saying majestic and ate that will be cool again, like, you go, girl, no diggity, fresh? And jump scare, this is actually from an old Navy catalog for hip children's clothes. The kid Wait. audience has always been a target for billion dollar companies operating under corporate capitalism. That still hasn't changed. If there's a miner, we're gonna mine her for gold. Yikes. Trick! Basically, everyone's trying to sell you something like a video game innkeeper. That's just how the world works nowadays. But you'll be okay as long as you do your research before buying anything so you can make an informed decision. Try to avoid blindly trusting random guys on the internet who make YouTube videos. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that. So, you look at anyway. me, traveler. I looking to sit down for a point? Or would you fancy a magic potion for health? Well, we don't have that, but we do have Gamer Subs, our sponsor for today. A healthier and cheaper alternative to- Hey! Gamer Subs! I got some right to you! Drinking sploosh right now! Drinks. Since the majority of my audience are fully developed frontal low people, I feel better about telling you guys about this. It's zero sugar, less than one calorie, and if you're a fan of anime- Hey! Merry Christmas, thanks for the follow. Hey! Waifu Cubs! Let's go! Where's Game of Subs at chat? That's my sponsor! Let's go! That's my sponsor! Look <laughs> what they have to offer. Gamer Subs is Oh my god, the daily. <laughs> right on time, chat! On the top right! Right on time! <laughs> okay, so Waifu Cup when? Um, we need to sell a lot more. <laughs> Scripted. <laughs> but when I need that extra pick-me-up to get me through that after lunch grogginess, for me, half a scoop of this and some ice cold water is a refreshing way for me to get my energy back up. I like that you can adjust the serving. Did he say half a scoop? Rookie numbers! For this and some ice cold water, pick me up to get me through that after lunch grogginess. For me, half a scoop of this and some Half a scoop? Bro, half a scoop, that's, that's, that's four ounce, that's four ounce, and how much is that in milliliters? Wait, let me, let me, let me, let me, that's, that's, that's a hundred milliliters? That's, bro, what are those piss rookie numbers? Give me 30 scoops, not 50, okay, okay, chill, stay on the recommended one. Four maximum, four scoops maximum a day. 
Ice cold water is a refreshing way for me to get my energy back up. I like that you can adjust the servings based on how much you need. I tend to make mine a little less sweet. Sometimes I don't feel like downing an entire can of liquid just to feel something. The best way to try gamer subs is with their free samples, and they do ship worldwide. Then you don't have they to do. fully commit, just in case it's not for you. If you're already a fan, you can use my code Invasion to get 10% off your order. You can find it in the description, traveler. Marketing has Problem. come a long way from ye old TV commercials, newspaper columns, and magazine clippings, to every screen within your peripheral vision being a rush of dopamine-inducing ads. Doom scrolling through your phone feels like standing in the middle of Times Square. There's so much going on at once, and you haven't even left your bed yet. How does one navigate the world when everything is overstimulating us to the point of exhaustion? Oh, Especially yeah. for <laughs> Chat. I hate to admit it, but... I always have my phone with me, more or less. Wherever the fuck I go, I have my phone with me. I do not survive without my phone. <laughs> I do not survive without my phone. I don't have a life offline, okay? Okay? I don't have anything going on for me offline. Can you judge me? I, I need, I need my internet. I need my stimuli. I need, I need, I need, ah! Okay, but just to be fair, who here doesn't have their phone uh, w with you? Who here doesn't have their phone with you when you wake up? Like, do you put your phone literally out of reach when you go to sleep? Is your phone out of reach when you go to sleep? Why are so many of you saying yes? Why are so many of you saying yes? What the fuck is wrong with all of you? <laughs> what the what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I'm I'm happy to see that the, there are some no's in there though. Phone is downstairs when I'm asleep. Damn, kind of. I leave it on my feet charging. Well, that's okay. That's still at your bed. <laughs> I have it far away because my charger is too short. Okay. Phone got my music though. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that I have to get out of bed when the alarm goes off. These are all lies. <laughs> what was the question? If you have your phone out of reach when you go to sleep. Alexa does alarm club, no need for phone call sleep. Bro, I need, I need my internet. I need my internet stimuli. My phone is my waifu. Literally, I... I put something on YouTube when I go to sleep. Like, I literally have something on YouTube when I go to sleep. I fall asleep listening to either a uh, fucking healthy gamer GG, like, uh, to Dr. K, right? Or Asmongold, or some other fucking shit. It's no wonder you have insomnia. Moving on. People with underdeveloped brains. No, not as content creators with skibbity toilet brain rot, but Gen yeah. Alpha, those born at the tail end of 2009 to present day, who are somewhere between the ages of 0 to 14 years old. Never having a second of quiet or playtime without a screen, while constantly being bombarded with ads, is expediting their growing up process. You know how boomers are constantly right, rambling though. about how these whippersnappers mm. are- Me, not you. Me, not you. Either way, are we turning into boomers, chat? Are we all turning into boomers? Growing up too quick, I tell ya. It's not just the sweet embrace of dementia yes. coming in for no. a They're actually right. Gen Alpha <laughs> is speed running through the 10-year-old phase and straight into the drunk elephant anti-aging mewing. Coco Melon, the, the circus, the, I, the amazing digital circus or something alpha sigma giga chat as a person born in 2010 x i have never xxx cool among us saskibbity bro ohio nipad i i have no idea what that is what the fuck is this sephora youtube shorts king is that dream what the fuck is this down here Chain Alpha starts in 
year after your birth year, not 2010. Okay, man. I don't know what that down here is. That is the shark song. Here's Giga Chat. But Giga Chat? Bro, Giga Chat is just Giga Chat, bro. Jen Alpha invented Sephora. Wasn't Sephora. Oh, is that a soap brand? Sephora or perfumes or something? It's a makeup brand. Yeah, makeup brand. Your chat is timeless, literally. But I don't know. Maybe that's Galaxy gla Gas? That, that shit that's been recently like going up? Routine? While the Rizzler's lullaby plays in the back? All around the skibbity bush, the monkey chased the Rizzler. The Get me out, 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 get me out. The monkey thought Ohio was fine. Get goes the Rizzler. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. I need to boot up Minecraft to uh, despawn in Minecraft a few million times after this. Giant corporations have the tendency to prioritize making as much money as possible to the detriment of their consumers. And the marketing tactics they employ are literally rewiring our brains. While we do have more regulations compared to they before, are. companies are still able to find loopholes when advertising to minors. Before the rise of internet celebrities, who are born from viral moments and a nice heaping of luck, we had traditional A-list celebrities attaching their names to reputable brands. Tom Cruise's PT Cruisers. The Rocks. Organic Gravel. <laughs> the rock selling you rocks. Okay. Spoons, silver cutlery set, and Janet Jackson's fuck? winter jackets for sons, just to name a few. What that I made up. People would buy anything <laughs> if someone famous endorsed it. A popular. That's true. That's really how it used to be. Now it's just like, why would I give a shit? Hollywood. Squirrel selling acorns, I will take 50. Although the A and A list does stand for always. Unrelatable, because they are too famous. These Hollywood bigwigs, they're just in it for the money. You really think Jennifer Aniston is wiping her face with Avino using her giant friend's paycheck? No, there of course not. Of course not. More trustworthy when endorsing products compared to traditional celebrities. Because influencers, man, they just like us. Our relatable internet friend, who's only a DM away, plus the constant output of content helps build that Get it. I'm just a DM away. Just one DM away. And if you do dare to DM me. Well. Well, it won't ed uh, end well for you. Why are your DMs locked though? My DMs aren't locked. My DMs are open. This person's DMs are closed. My DMs literally are open. But I don't want random people to DM me. What if I DM you a capybara? I will look at the capybara, but I will not answer. <laughs> I will look at the capybara, but I will not answer. She is a DM away. Yep. DM blocked by mods. Yep. Put the logger away. No. Kids will get spammed with capybaras now, god damn it. I don't go to Twitter, it scares me, if understandably so. If you try to DM Kitsu, chances are you'll get no response. Similar to if you tried contacting any other creator that's not microscopic in size. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. Like, I don't, like, I'm sorry, but I just don't have the time to answer everyone. That's why I have it in the discord rule as well that do not dm me <laughs> do not dm the kitsu or the mods like if you got any issues we have a ticket system you know that's why yeah but you told me to dm you okay the people that i do tell to dm me those are exceptions okay those are exceptions when i tell someone to dm me that's an exception <laughs> <laughs> Moving a on! relationship that kids really yearn for. Think about it. If you were in grade 4 in this day and age, would you be idolizing these nerds? With peace and love, the- What the fuck is this? The purple one is my bias. Or would you be a fan of famous TikTok influencer with lim- Chat, I- <sighs> Megalovania played and I generally thought my alarm was going off. Megalovania has been my alarm. 
<laughs> Bro, megalovania has been my alarm. I genuinely thought my alarm was going off. <laughs> Here's Riz, who just gave a million dollars to one of their fans. The chances of that being you only increases if you buy 55 pairs of merch and 55 boxes of snack foods. Lunch. Let's go! Bro, Megalovania is so hyped though. Bro, no, you can't just play Megalovania and tie me up like this, bro. You can't do this to me! <laughs> Lunchly is a brand of snack kits Oh, by here we go. Lunchly! Bop, bop, bop! I still, I still want to try Primes. I tried Feastables. I know that I can buy primes at Edeka, which is like a um, supermarket here. I know that they have uh, primes there, at least at the bigger ones. I don't think the entire Lunchly Pizza is available anywhere though. And Lunchables, I don't think they're available here either. Why do you want to wake up? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't just want to be permanently sleeping. That's. That's not good. <laughs> Prime is banned in the Netherlands for the amount of caffeine. Damn! I think there were specific types of Prime, though. Like, I think there were, like, some less caffeinated Primes, though. Some non-energy drink Primes or something. I don't know. Something like that. Prime is so bad that it's often sold for less than a dollar. Damn! Here it's actually expensive. Permanent sleep coma. Yeah. Prime is terrible for you. So are many other things that we still put them in our bodies. Heard of sugar bands but caffeine bands? That's news to me. Yeah, I don't know either. You can get Prime and Rewe Getränke Mark. You can get them in Edeka too. At least the bigger ones. Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast, famous internet celebrities known to have a lot of young fans. They're marketing the snack kit as a healthier alternative to Lunchables. The announcement for this product caused quite a bit of discourse. What? I... Bro, I really doubt that they are that much healthier than Lunchables. Like, maybe by like 10%, if even, you know? Lunchly versus uh. Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sh- Looking away from Prime. Like, looking away completely from Prime, right? Looking away from Prime. Because Prime is just a whole different issue, bro. That's just a sugar bomb. 3% at best? You think so? They aren't healthy at all? Alright. Um, do Lunchables come with the Capri Sun? I guess they do. I do. I love Capri Sun. Jimmy K is and Logan is basically the unholy trinity. It truly is, man. It truly fucking is. Sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch bar. Whoa. Feastables Crunch yeah! Bar. Yeah! Our pizza uses real cheese. Theirs, as it says on their box, is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. They can't even call it real cheese. Ooh. We're also 30 less calories, 3 less grams of fat, and 8 less grams of sugar. Turkey okay. stack, 310 calories. 230 calories. 21 grams of sugar. Only 7 grams of sugar. If you look at this close up, you can already tell which one has better ingredients you know what the comparison they are advertising it they are advertising it pretty decently and just like going off from what they're saying so far does seem a tiny bit healthier right, we'll start off with the lunchables mm, bro uh, i'm sorry that's trash all right now we're trying lunchly okay uh, bro spitting it out right away is like uh, come on stop fucking Drama creening it up, man. Slipping a drama queen. Not biased at all, but ours is way better. Are they allowed to bash a rival company like that? That's a good question. I'm not educated enough on um American laws to know. <laughs> I know I'm not the target audience for this, but that was Well a yeah! Lot. Kids are the target audience! And kids are gonna buy this! Kids are wanting to buy this. If you bro if you were gonna buy the kid a Lunchables versus a Lunchly anyway, and if the price is about the same, I don't see the harm in giving the kid a fucking Lunchly once in a while, you know? It's not like we grew up eating only good shit every single fucking day. Bro, it's not that deep. As long as they have like a balanced diet it's okay it's all about moderation exactly not for my old wrinkly adult brain if i was a young just make your kid a decent sandwich bro 
if your kid wants to have a lunchly slash lunchable once in a while, so be it. Let him enjoy it. Who the fuck cares? Have, have him have it once in a while. Like, have him have it, like, once a month, if even. I ate only lettuce. Definitely no cookies. Maybe a few. <laughs> like, let him be. To be honest, I would fucking never buy a product from a guy who was advertising it during a child births. Yeah, bro, that that's just that that's just despic despicable. At least I uh, didn't many pizzas in the oven, but as you say, all in the moderation. Yeah, exactly, moderation. These and sandwiches just Nutella. True though, true though. The whole concept of lunchables is foreign to me. I always made my own food to school since I would wake up earlier than everyone. My mom. Most of the times made our quote unquote lunch boxes. If anything, we had fucking uh, stuff on toast, you know? So I grew up poor, okay? I grew up poor. And if your kid wants something that may or may not be unhealthy for them once in a while, let them have it. We're not that deep. Like, I'm not saying, like, Get them, give it to him every single fucking day. It's a fucking kid, man. It's not that bad. It's, he's not gonna die. He's not... The, the kid ain't gonna die. Kid ain't gonna die from having one Lunchable once. Kid, however, I could see myself being influenced by this. Small green number. Good. Big red number. Bad. Why? Well, yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. Marketing. I don't know. Whoa. That's what my favorite internet celebrity told me. You also get that dopamine rush of jump cuts, yelling, and overstimulating animations in the span of 60 seconds. To no one's surprise, a handful of content creators were pretty vocal about this being a cash grab targeting their young fans, and how the content creation space has become a capitalistic nightmare. After some back and forth between the general public and the creators of lunch- I've seen this one. What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't- not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them to do better. On one hand, I do want to agree with them. Like, right? I do want to agree with them, mostly. On the other hand, I don't think it's that deep. Like, I really don't think it's that deep if they want to be a lunchable competitor like okay they already had that companies want to make money yeah crazy right like i'm sorry to tell you but mr beast ksi and logan paul are not just youtubers anymore they're not just youtubers <laughs> like just a chill <laughs> who all had different approaches of addressing the situation, some going personal, some going on the attack. What did the previous one say? Who all had different approaches of addressing the situation, some going- I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spent our lives creating content and building our brands. Now we want to build businesses. You don't say anything when Launchable faces bans for allegedly containing lead, but when we create a better version, you're upset? Then don't eat it. Honestly, I think that's a fair response. Like, at face value, I think this is a fair response. If, if he wants to build a business, let him build a business. At face value, it's okay. Considering everything around it, like, with Prime and how scummy Logan Paul is <laughs> and his history... Yeah... <laughs> yeah... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that poisonous? Yes, it is. It's like saying Emirant is just a streamer today for all her faults. She is proper businesswoman now. She is. Just because they are mostly exclusive to newer mediums doesn't make them less valid. Wait, what were you saying? They are all actually celebrities many look up to. Yes, yes. He makes a good point. It is, overall, at face value, it is a good a point. I think this is actually a well-written response. Going personal, some going on the attack. I saw this one. This, this one was so stupid. Like, this one was so fucking stupid, man, where he was just, like, <laughs> attacking him. 
for like case i was attacking i think i who was he attacking here quote unquote attacking the the other one is that tommy in it i don't know no i don't think so i don't know i don't know i don't know who he was like quote unquote calling out here oh wait he uh, uh dantum that guy i'm stupid that one he was this one was so fucking stupid from ksi like he put the guy's YouTubes in it, and then KSI advertised his own his own YouTubes figure, and then he advertised his own YouTubes figure. Ugh, Tommy was a slogan. KSI was a Dantum. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that was the one. And others going more in depth. Lunchable sells hundreds of millions of units, and countless people eat it. Our goal is to give people better. For you, alternative to it. Our turkey meal, for example, is 80 less calories, 60 less, 60 percent less sugar, more electrolytes. We use real cheese. They use cheese product. They can't call it cheese. They are, in fact, uh, that is true. If it uh, isn't actually real cheese, they are not allowed to call it cheese. They literally are not allowed. They, they are legally not allowed to call it cheese because it's not actually cheese. Higher quality meat, etc. Obviously, eating fresh chicken and broccoli is healthier, but if someone is going to eat a pre made meal like this, which millions of people do through Lunchables, then I think giving them a higher quality version at roughly the same price is a net good, in my opinion. But, uh, and why we launched Lunchly. Also, as we get economics of scale and can get things cheaper, we will be only improving the product more and more. Um. Overall, okay response, I'd say, apart from that, that's not the only reason he launched it. Like, this isn't the only reason he launched it. He launched it because of money. Like, come on. Obviously, he launched it because there's money to be made. They saw that they could be a competitor, so they became one. About the product itself. Whatever's happening here is a lot more nuanced than it appears. The main issues people have with Lunchly are with the founders themselves, who don't necessarily yeah. have the cleanest reputation in terms of controversy. Even That's if where the, the issues are. Technically at. better than what's currently available, you can't be too surprised when people. That's where I'm making the differentiation between the art and the artist, quote unquote, right? Where Overall, I don't think Lunchly is that bad of a product. I think the naming is stupid because Lunchables, Lunchly, I think they're too close. But to me, Lunchly on its own, it's it's whatever. Sure, go ahead. You know, that's the kind of re uh, thinking I have with it. People think you're only doing this for profit when that's the image you built for yourself. This group of people here doesn't really scream passionate about kids' health, along with the content being created to promote their brand. Not sure what this has to do with providing healthier options for kids. That's... I guess you can only do so much when your product is literally. Can I copy your? Well, what's the point? Homework? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll make it slightly different so we don't get caught. If they wanted to portray a healthier alternative to snack foods, Lunchables shouldn't have been the base model for Lunchly, when Lunchables already has a reputation for being unhealthy with a sprinkle of delicious lead. I do agree with some parts of this. If you had to pick between the two, Lunchly is a better option on paper. Yeah. But only by like 15%. The difference is almost negligible to just. Yeah, I was saying like 10%, like, yes, you guys were saying 3%. I guess I was closer, hehe. <laughs> but yeah, it's barely better. It's, to me, it's whatever, it's really. This super often, especially during your development years. If my kid was a super fan and wanted to eat an influencer snack pack, they better have all their chores done a year in advance. Also, straight A's until they graduate. Also, the house better be clean from top to bottom. Oh, that's a maid. I think I'm looking for a maid. Other than the nutrition <laughs> and the differences between the ingredients, the only factor that really separates these two products are that one has the backing of three super famous content creators with a chokehold on Gen Alpha, who'll believe almost anything they say. If Logan, KSI, and Mr. That is true, say though. this is perfectly fine to eat every day. That is true though, with all the brand rot, uh, with all the skibbity rainbow, uh, brand rot going out.
a lot of the kids will be like, Oh my god, my favorite YouTuber just released it and they are to eat this! <sighs> so yeah, I, I do get where he's coming hey, from. The cafeteria is going to be filled with lunch leaves but not a single fruit or vegetable in sight. Health campaigns and health-focused content creators have even criticized these lunch leaf snack kits. You'll see countless comparisons being made to Lunchables. To be honest, some of the comparisons oh, are kind the of cringe and don't make much sense to me, but maybe that's because I'm not the target demo. Flavorful combos versus standard picks? That's... Whoa! Whoa! The meal kit combos are nearly identical to Lunchables. Big gestures versus mid moments. It's literally just buzzwords. It's literally just trying to be buzzwords. It's literally just trying to grip the attention. I certainly don't remember that lesson in my nutrition classes. I don't think it's causing harm. I don't think it's bad, but I think it's been marketed in a way that gives people an impression that it's really, really good for hydration and or should be consumed at any other time of the day, like at lunch, which any, I think, sensible doctor, medical professional would say is not the case. Scooby product, yeah. Just yep. think of this. Do you really think Sigma was virgin advertisement? Yeah. That the same beverage that should be used to hydrate elite mixed martial art UFC fighters training and sweating for hours is what you should drink at lunch when you're not sweating. What? Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Let me just sip on my game of sips instead. One thing I will mention as someone who was pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Nutrition back in my university days, basically I took one nutrition class and then dropped out. <laughs> yes, there is a bit of- That's more than- <laughs> That's more than most people claim to have, um, <laughs> been educated on that, you know? That's more than most people. The fear mongering around processed foods. They are not good for you, but just because you can't pronounce some of the lunchly ingredients doesn't mean that it's a horrible chemical. These are just the yeah. scientific names for vitamins, thickeners, and preservatives that keep the food from going off. In terms of processed foods that are cheap and ready to eat, the ingredient lists aren't the worst thing in the world. It's most of the times it's just ingredients that like it's just the more scientific term, I guess, for ingredients most of the time, you know? No different than buying a microwave meal, which also has scary sounding ingredients, but are perfectly safe to eat in moderation. Definitely not yeah. as a daily thing. Treating Lunchly as a... Not as a daily thing? Oh, 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 okay, I, I guess that that's out of the window too. Mm. Guess uh, no more microwave uh, food either. On that note, I just subscribed to uh, HelloFresh to test it out. <laughs> On that note, um, HelloFresh, if you wanna, you know, uh, hit me up for a sponsor, my DMs are open. Yearly snack would probably be my personal preference. In the end, it does all come down to the parents. I mean, <laughs> the kids aren't the ones working 40 hours a week and buying the groceries. Even if they got on their hands and knees and begged, you gotta say no or have some restrictions with what they're eating. Food is a whole other ballpark compared to selling a hoodie or some pants, since it actually impacts your health. You have to be really clear about the brand's intentions without the confusing marketing tactics. If Lunchly made content teaching healthier eating habits, that would help their brand image. Why not teach kids self-eating habits? They're comparing their products to Lunchables, which is in itself a highly processed crap. None of them are passionate about health towards fans, only their wallets. So disappointing. You know what? That's a good point. It is. Like, on one hand, but not on one hand. I'm gonna say it again, though. They saw a niche they could target, and they want to make money. That's as simple as that. But to be criticizing them for making just... Unhealthy food? That's that's fair. That's a fair criticism, I would say. But that doesn't sell as well as whatever this is. Now we take our all new lunchly turkey stackums. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, quick jump cut, fast transition, skibbity to toilet brain rod. Yay! Ohio Rizzler. <laughs> Let's hit it. It's actually pretty good. Shout out Logan, original cucumber guy. Hey, great name, by the way. I remember when my parents would what? refuse to let me eat craft dinner and called it trash food. Please don't cancel them. Times were different back What did I know? My parents would refuse to let me eat craft dinner and called it trash food. Craft dinner? What the hell is craft dinner? 
Sorry? Craft mac and cheese. Oh! Oh, that's the brand! Oh, okay. Okay, too American for me. Okay, okay, okay. Great name, by the way. I remember when my parents would refuse okay, to let me eat dinner it, it. and called it trash food. Please don't. I, I ate shit like that too, though, growing up. Like, I, I can't blame my mom. I had a, a lot of siblings <laughs> cooking for all of them. Ugh. Cancel them. Times were different back then. But Not I did feel only left though. out because all my classmates were eating it for lunch. Thankfully, my parents could tell there was little to no nutrition in this box of macaroni noodles compared to a home cooked Asian meal. Although we did eat a Tim Hortons donut almost. Again, I don't think it's bad eating that once in a while. I really don't think it's bad eating it once in a while. You know, there's a reason sometimes food is just called soul food, you know? Sometimes trash is okay, it's good for the soul. Yeah, it's soul food, literally. It's just, you know, the key is variety. Yeah, gotta go. Bye, kids. Bye bye, Lotto. Every single day after they pick me up from school. So, balance, I guess. Honestly, this yeah. lunchly thing is making me want to eat lunchables again after 20 years. But yeah, the public sentiment about lunchly, 3.5 out of 10. Speaking of spiking up hey, your dopamine levels, money. you familiar with loot boxes and gacha video games? What? <laughs> loot boxes? Gotcha video games? I would never have heard of those. What's that? What? Ah! I know a lot of you can relate from personal experience. Me what? Included. This is a mechanic. What? What is this? I've where you spend real life money never for seen this. currency used for getting special items, character skins, and JPEGs of attractive anime husbandos and white. No boys. way! Except it's not a guaranteed thing. No, no, no. It all comes down to a single button press and how lucky you are. The system makes it so you only have a 0.5 to 3% chance of pulling okay. the newest character or rarest item. What happens if you don't get it? You gotta keep spending money if you want to keep mm -hmm. trying. Which makes it so much more exciting when that 1% pull rate comes through. It's so yeah. fun and easy that even young kids can try their hand at it using their mm. weekly allowance. This is essentially like gambling and training. Instead of winning cold cash, you win a cool Fortnite skin instead. That adrenaline rush you get from- Bro, what's that five- Five phones, man. But yeah, it's- Yeah, it's really bad, bro. I'ma be 100% real with you guys. I'ma be 100% real with you guys. I had spent a bit of money a tiny bit of money on Honkai Star Rail and I regretted it and I uninstalled the game. Like when I told you guys that I was gonna stop playing it, I spent the money on it, I fucking regretted it, I uninstalled it. Fuck that. Fuck that, man. Fuck that. Uninstalled every single gacha that I had fucking installed on my PC. Minus one sponsorship. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but you know, fuck that. Who made you regret it? Me. Me. Me losing money for no reason. Make me regret it. Axel, thanks for the follow. Me losing money for no fucking reason made me regret it. <laughs> That's what. Fuck that. Genuinely, fuck that. <laughs> so no Raid Shadow Legends ad? Nope. Putting everything on black, no more. but when you get a 5-star Genshin character on your first pull is very addicting, especially for these young developing meat sacks. Why are you calculating how many loot boxes you can pull when you should be calculating a grade 4 math problem? People in their early 20s are the fastest growing group of gamblers, according to recent research. And yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And I think it's a good thing that the EU, like more and more EU countries are starting to ban like gotcha shit. I think that's a really good thing. Would you rather play gacha game or lol? I, I'd rather play League. I'd rather play League. I wanna be full on honest with you. I'd rather play League than a gacha. Like, yeah. Yeah, like the character designs and all that shit, they, they are so fucking pretty, but goddamn it's so predatory, man. Goddamn it's so fucking predatory. You did a good deal. If you ain't getting any from it, don't pay for it. Yeah, I did. I did get facial. I did get face show. <laughs> and rather and rather early on though. Rather early on though too, but nah. Nah. Fuck that.
the saddest the saddest thing is when people try to defend Honkai by saying, yeah, okay, but it gives way more shit than Genshin. <laughs> Great defense. <laughs> Great defense. Whoa, we're comparing dog shit to bullshit. Thank you. Wow, good job. <laughs> I don't like gachas, but then I found one which isn't too bullshit to play. <laughs> That's fair, you know what? If you're completely free to play or only spend money once in a while in it without feeling like you're actually like wasting it, sure, do it. It's your money, you can do whatever you want, right? I'm a, to me, it really felt predatory. I didn't like it. it. It was like, no, no, this is stupid. I'm not putting my money into this. League of Legends loot boxes, though! Hell yeah, count me in! <laughs> Many kids are starting younger than that. Nearly two-thirds of adolescents, <laughs> ages 12 to 18, said they had gambled or played gambling-like games in the previous year. Starting young carries a relative high burden of psychological distress and increased chances of developing problems. As access to gambling has expanded, psychologists and other experts have become concerned. Not just that more people will give it a try, but that more will develop gambling problems. And while it is too soon to know what the long-term effects will be, evidence is growing to suggest that young people, especially boys and men, are among those particularly yep. vulnerable to gambling addiction. The 100%, yeah. 100%. Like, with how easily, like, with how he easy the access to the internet with any fucking child having a smartphone now ever is, they can just download the game. Bro, there even, there even was a girl that spent her entire family's saving on gacha. She's, and she went so far to fucking, like, from what I remember, she went so far to deleting the receipts. She went so far to deleting the freaking receipts of it so she wouldn't get caught. Well, obviously, as because we know the story now, she did get caught, but holy shit, man. That child never got beaten. <laughs> that child never got beaten. <laughs> that child never got beaten growing up, you know? You, you can tell when a child didn't uh, grow up well in a, in a quote-unquote well um, household. <laughs> how much was spent? I don't, I don't know how much exactly. Not to say that I endorse the beating of your children. <laughs> Beat your kids? No! I'M JUST SAYING! <laughs> Should never be able to gamble. 18 plus, do whatever you want, but kids, no. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. My friend spent 30k on COD and got banned for 3k days, a few days. Oh my fucking god, why? Same demographic most often participating why? in the newest forms of gambling. Now that we have smartphones, it's so accessible. In a matter of minutes, you could be playing a gacha game or spinning roulettes. Yeah, I remember. Literally. I spent so much, I had like zero in my bank account. I had to like Jesus. borrow money from like my boyfriend then to like eat. Gambling is an addiction. It is an addiction and it's an addiction that can ruin people's livelihoods. There are so many. Let's get around for YouTube monetization purposes. Unalivings. There are so many people unaliving themselves because of gambling issues. Like it is an addiction that's bad. That is a problem. So. I'm not only faulting the gambler. I am faulting, I'm saying the companies that are putting that shit out there for people to easily consume our fault mostly. Uh, I used like maple kind of as an escape. So maple. there was COVID, right? Great. So I didn't really go out. Then I didn't buy Great. any clothes. So I was like, okay, then why don't I just buy virtual clothes, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, is this what my future looks like, chat? <laughs> Wait, VTuber getting new models, getting new VTuber outfits? Oh shit, I'm in it too deep. I'm in it too deep. Gotcha games are literally a legal loophole to advertise gambling. They are, yes, I agree. And it needs to be stopped. Kids is a gotcha. <laughs> 
Uh, why don't I just get good virtually? That actually makes a lot of sense. Lockdown did do a number on our social skills. It so did. So why not treat this game world you invested so much time into as the real world? It definitely looks a lot more appealing than... I mean, there's a reason. There... Phantom Texas Sigma, okay, man, okay, man. I, I want to say some bad gamer words. Bro, this, this is bad. This is so bad, bro. Either way, there's a reason Animal Crossing was so fucking popular during uh, the... That time Going period. Here, spending some money on a video game isn't inherently bad. We just need to control ourselves and make sure the grade schoolers are doing their homework instead of. When I'm in class. Thankfully, we are starting to realize. She was playing. It in class, <laughs> bro the effects of engaging in this type of behavior at such here consumer protection aspects of loot boxes and other virtual items with uncertainty based rewards are examined in the european commission ongoing evol sorry evaluation report due around june 2024 good at a young age more regulations are being put in place good. such as limiting accounts to certain spending amounts each yep i mean you can see the loot box in the background i think from what I remember, I think Asmund said this before as well, that the EU is the reason we have Overwatch 2 now. That they had to change their entire business protocol. Day, some countries have gone as far as to ban any form of loot there boxes altogether. Too bad this didn't happen before a 13-year-old spent her family's entire life savings on a mobile game, resulting- There it is. There it is. Thirteen sixty-four thousand dollars chat. There it is. And her mom finding seven cents left in her account. She seven! could have some transaction records to hide them from her parents. That is very spooky and sad. Jesus! The about as a quick mention is Galaxy Gas, which is generally frightening. This company specializes Bro. in a gas product used to refill whipped cream Bro. canisters. I'm sure all of you have seen the freaking clip by now, where the guy, guy is fucking inhaling it, and for a moment, his fucking soul leaves his body as he, like, as his brain just, like, sh uh, shuts off for just a second. Like, oh, bro. Ooh. Oh, my God. God. But give it that airy texture. They state you can make 20,000 servings of whipped cream using a single canister. Are you also fueling a car with this? This is like those people in those math problems that buy 100 watermelons, 72 apples for their family of 42. The issue is that people were finding out you can eat the gas directly through your mouth. Why would good. you? Just look at this yeah. And you can tell that it's aiming to target a younger audience. Other than the creator doing like, demos why? of using the product, I don't think people are just using this to make sweet treats. The packaging is fun it's super accessible where you can order it off amazon without an id it also comes with a mouthpiece pretty weird if you're not intended to why does it come with a mouthpiece Hail it. once this call went on social media it became a trend of people using it at school and posting why does it come with a mouthpiece goofy. well if you're a parent what are you still doing watching this video get off your phone and never let your kid go outside ever again Mama. just kidding sort of the world is a scary place all you can really is. do is try your best right and besides you can't just put the kid back from where it came from or bring it in for a refund some would like to disagree. <laughs> Hopefully watching this video is a net positive for you and we can all be smarter consumers together. Humans are also quite sturdy. A lot of us 90s kids grew up on a diet of Red 40, Play-Doh, and lead paint. We turned out more or less yeah. fine. Brain yeah. still work good. At least the YouTube yeah, algorithm we're fine. is a reassuring Somewhat. presence in our lives. And you can feed it a lunchly by liking this video. In turn, it'll keep feeding you hits of dopamine by showing you videos you'll enjoy. Like this one, and one of my many other videos, perhaps? Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and see you in the next one. Mmm, tasty paint. Mmm, soil. Mmm, money back guarantee only in the first three years of you having the kit. <laughs> oh no. Galaxy gas sucking on some discount chloroform, basically. Yeah, what the hell? Wasn't there a dude who tried to sue his parents for being born? I know there was a woman that tried that. There was a woman that was trying that. Yeah. By the way, she had children. <laughs> that woman had children. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. Oh, well. Goodbye.
goodbye, YouTubes. Goodbye, goodbye.